This week, the U.S. Air Force will publicly debut the most technologically advanced aircraft ever made, having invested roughly $203 billion in the project. On Friday, December 2, a B-21 Raider stealth bomber will be unveiled at the Northrop Grumman plant in Palmdale, California. The bomber was made to perform nuclear and long-range bombing missions while utilizing cutting-edge stealth technologies. Six bombers are now being constructed in Palmdale for around $2 billion each. In 2023, they're anticipated to be flying. After Northrop won the contract to design and manufacture the aircraft, the Air Force and the business started working on the bomber in 2015. The cutting-edge aircraft was given the Doolittle Raiders moniker, honoring a group of daring and gallant B-21 bomber crewmen from World War II. Northrop representatives described the B-21 as pioneering and technological excellence. According to Northrop Sector Vice President and General Manager Do Young, the B-21 is the most innovative and technologically advanced military aircraft ever created. He continued, The Raider demonstrates the commitment and expertise of the thousands of people working day in and day out to deliver this aircraft. Nearly nothing has been revealed about the bomber and all of its specifics have been kept carefully under wraps. At this point, only artist representations of the aircraft given by the Air Force and a teaser trailer released by Northrop showing the shape of the B-21 buried beneath a covering have been made public. No photos of the aircraft have even been made public. According to Defense One, the aircraft reportedly employs previously unheard of stealth technology to evade enemy detection and may be able to fly with or without pilots. The aircraft, according to Northrop President Tom Jones, is optimized for operations in highly contested environments. Only those with invitations may attend the unveiling on Friday. According to Jones, more than 8,000 people from 40 different states were involved in the development effort. I believe it's the first glimpse of what will be a fantastic capability for our nation, he said. The B-21 is considered a sixth-generation aircraft by the Air Force, making it the world's most technologically advanced aircraft. The various stages of aviation technology are represented by aircraft generations. The fifth generation, which includes the world's most sophisticated warplanes up until the B-21, was dominated by technology in the 1990s and the early 2000s. The Doolittle Raiders a group of World War II bomber pilots and crew members inspired the name of the Raider. They were made up of 80 Air Force personnel who offered their services to launch an attack on Tokyo on April 18, 1942, just a few months after Japan had bombed Pearl Harbor and dragged the U.S. into the war in December. Lieutenant Colonel James Doolittle organized and oversaw the bombing raid, which greatly improved American morale. The U.S. Hornet was not built to carry such a large number of aircraft, but the airmen still launched 16 B-25 bombers from its flight deck to carry out their attack. According to Northrop, the raid catalyzed many subsequent innovations in U.S. air superiority from land or sea. The B-21 Raider, America's next-generation bomber, gets its moniker from the Doolittle Raider's bold, inventive, and courageous spirit. The Doolittle Raiders, a group of World War II bomber pilots and crew members inspired the naming of the B-21 Raider. The Doolittle Raiders, a group of World War II bomber pilots and crew members, inspired the naming of the B-21 Raider. Despite the U.S. Hornet's flight deck not being intended to handle such large aircraft, the Doolittle Raiders launched 16 B-25 bombers from it to carry out their attack. Only a few months after Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, and drew the U.S. into the war the year before, on April 18, 1942. Eighty members of the Air Force volunteered to launch an attack on Tokyo. In more than three decades, the B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber, according to U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin. It is evidence of America's unflinching superiority in creativity and innovation, and it demonstrates the department's ongoing dedication to constructing cutting-edge capabilities that will strengthen America's capacity to thwart aggression both now and in the future. When we work together, this country can accomplish great things, according to Warden. We are ushering in a new era in national defense technology with the B-21, 
which was digitally designed, enabled, and maintained. The B-21 Raider was dramatically unveiled by the Air Force and Northrop Grumman during the broadcast, with the bomber emerging from its hangar with a blue light behind it as the Stroud slipped away. The bomber's futuristic flying saucer-like shape was obvious from the position the public was permitted to view it from because of how the aircraft was lit during the event. The B-21's exact capabilities and specifications are not well known. According to the Associated Press, almost every aspect of the program is classified. Even the precise wingspan of the aircraft is unknown, however, it appears to be smaller than the B-2 Spirit, which had a wingspan of 172 feet, 52 meters, based on the size of the B-21's landing gear, as seen during the unveiling. There were no back views of the aircraft revealed to the public. Only the front of the aircraft was displayed at the unveiling ceremony. As a result, we are largely ignorant of the engine exhausts, which would reveal information about its propulsion system and, consequently, its ability to fly. It also suggests that you are completely ignorant of the B-21's plan form or shape. The absence of seams on the aircraft displayed during the unveiling ceremony, as noted by the military aviation blog The War Zone, may indicate that the B-21's production utilized advanced manufacturing methods and cutting-edge materials that enable sensors, communication antennas, and air data systems to be built directly into the airframe, the body of the aircraft, excluding its power and propulsion systems. This would entail a fundamental shift in the aircraft's low observability, stealth, making it even more difficult to spot it with radar and other sensors. The new stealthy jet has been the topic of data sheets written by Northrop Grumman and the Air Force. However, these sheets only cover the broad strokes of the capabilities the aircraft possesses. In the fact sheet provided by the manufacturer, it is said that the B-21 was designed with the next generation of stealth technology, advanced networking capabilities, and an open systems architecture, and is optimized for the high-end threat environment. According to what is currently known, the B-21 is capable of transporting both conventional and nuclear weapons, and it may be flown in either a crewed or uncrewed configuration, depending on the mission requirements. Because of the aircraft's open systems architecture, which was employed in its design, it is simple to add new features as they become available. This is because the architecture allows for easy expansion. It is also well known that each B-21 Raider costs $692 million to produce. According to an article that was published exclusively by Time, the plan is expected to cost American taxpayers a total of $203 billion over the next three decades. The United States Air Force has stated that it desires to have in its inventory at least 100 B-21 Raiders. It is not expected that the B-21 will take flight until the year 2023. At the Northrop Grumman plant in Palmdale, California, there are now six different models being worked on, all of which are in various stages of the final development process. The aircraft that was on display at the tightly orchestrated unveiling ceremony on Friday, December 2, will be put to use for ground testing of its engines and subsystems before any of the cutting-edge bombers take to the air for the first time. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.